Those seriously pursuing union with God appreciate the tremendous worth of spiritual reading. Much is to be gained from reading books written by more spiritually mature and often holy brothers and sisters in the Lord. One such book is entitled, I Believe in Love by Father Jean Delbé. The book is essentially the transcription of a retreat he preached based on the teaching of Saint Thérèse of Lisieux. He preaches on themes such as God's immeasurable love for us, cultivating an unshakable confidence in that love, abandonment to Jesus, the cross, and the Eucharist, to name a few themes. Obviously, it's an ideal book to make a retreat, which you can do in the comfort of your own home and at your own pace. It's also ideal to bring to your prayer time. Here's just a sampling. I should like to ask you urgently from now on that you never let your past sins be an obstacle between you and Jesus. Not to doubt that you love Jesus when you feel cold and arid demands great faith, the forgetting of yourself, and a true understanding of sanctity. Jesus needs nothing but your humility and your confidence to work marvels of purification and sanctification in you. Jesus wants to be loved for himself, not for his gifts. He is jealous of our true love. And how's this for a recommendation? We know that many of you know the Companions of the Cross, but did you know that I Believe in Love is on their must-read list of their formation program? Every man discerning a call to the priesthood with that community is required to read this book. But on a more personal note, think of your own life in the Lord for a moment. Can you honestly say that you've heard too many sermons on how much God loves you? The whole of our spiritual lives, in fact, our very existence begins there, doesn't it? Not with our love for God, but with His love for us. I believe in love can provide you with an opportunity to ponder and experience that unfathomable reality. It's aimed at helping you cultivate and deepen what could very well become an unshakable confidence in the love of God. Now, who doesn't want that? And then I pray that the Lord continue to guide and bless all your spiritual reading.